So it's Change for Change Sunday. Yay! Come on up. Anyone who'd like to join me talk about Change for Change this morning, that would be awesome. Great. Well, I know some of you folks pretty well. Not, hi, Joey. How are you doing? Good to see you. And we'll let... Come on up. Let Ethan... How are you doing? Come on up. So, a few weeks ago, we had a PD day, right? And some of you were at the PD day at the church, right? Who was there? And the irrepressible Josie was there leading with you, wasn't she? Yeah. Come on now. So, um, while you were doing that, the senior youth group, we're at a place called Station 20 West, and here's a picture of it, right? This is Station 20 West. And in Station 20 West, it's located on 20th Street and Avenue L, I think. Um, there's a number of different agencies that work to make life better for the people in the core neighborhoods, um, the people surrounding um, Station 20 West and out. Um, a lot of indigenous folks, a lot of new, new Canadians, um, and a lot of people that are marginalized through poverty and addictions and all kinds of different problems. And so we visited all of these agencies and we had a really great time. But there was one that really stuck with us and that was the Mother's Center. And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that and that's the theme of our Change for Change today is the Mother's Center. So Josh and Ella and Bridget, you were all there. Um, can you, can you uh, tell me a little bit about what the Mother's Center, sorry, how that impacted you? Well, the Mother's Center was a place where a woman could go with their children and a place away from home where they could meet and support each other. And it was really an important place because some people need the support and they aren't, they're always a bit underfunded. So, I think the fact they were underfunded kind of like that struck me because it's like a really vital program for a lot of people and if it were to, because it's already, it's like really struggling with money and if it, you know, doesn't exist anymore, it'll really impact a lot of people's lives because it's just like a place where people learn how to like be a good mother. So it's not only going to impact the mothers if it goes under, but also their kids and the like next generations, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's exactly right. There's only two mother centers in Canada, one in Halifax, I believe, the other one in, in Saskatoon, and they have had trouble with funding. And so we're in a season where we're waiting for a mother to deliver a baby, aren't we? And I think it's really appropriate that our Change for Change Sunday, this Sunday, would uh, go to support the mother center. They were telling us that $100 pays their phone for four or five months. And so we, uh, we do really well in our Change for Change Sundays, and so we're hoping that we'll be able to give them some money uh, to help them keep going. And so who wants to take the uh, Change for Change? Do, have you done it, Ethan? Okay, cool. So if you take that down with you, and I'll come looking for it, all right? And uh, you want to head downstairs with Darren, and youth, I'll be right down after I conduct the choir. Uh, that would be great. Thanks for coming up and hearing about the Mother Center. <laughs> 